Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you a weekly podcast for the more sophisticated beer drinker. So sit back, pour yourself a pint, and enjoy the internet's longest running 100% blind round table taste test beer review show. You're listening to The Beer Snobs. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. How you guys doing? This is the Beer Snobs. I am Damon, and right next to me is... Hey, guys. This is Brian from Beer Quest. And across the table from me is... Hi, I'm B. And uh, just before we get started, I want to mention our Beer of the Month, Wing Walker Amber Ale. Good stuff right there. Unanimously voted Beer of uh, the Month by us last month. Uh, and a great, solid amber. And a damn good value. Yes, because we we got this for seventy nine cents from the ninety nine cent store. We keep mentioning, give the ninety nine cent store a shot. They they sell beer now. Some of the stuff's pretty good. This was a great find. Uh, but again, I would pay probably you know I imagine it'd be like a buck twenty nine, buck fifty or something like that per bottle. Full price for this, and it's worth it easily. Totally. Yeah. Great amber. Anyways, uh, let's get to the show. Uh, starting off before we, we get into it, B has kind of an announcement. I guess he's taking a, a, a hiatus for a little bit. I'm going on a mental break. Um, <laughs> is this like HBO? Like I won't see you for two years. No, I don't think two years, but I need to guess. I need to find me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm going to go off right now and make sure I'm okay. Get and centered. Then, then I can get, I get centered, find my namaste, and then I'll come back. <laughs> find your namaste. <laughs> and I'll come back later, but as of right now, namaste I really... Namaste finds you, my friend. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't feel this, man. I mean, like, giving up sex, abstinence. I didn't say like, all that. Oh. No. He's not, oh. He's not giving up beer. He's just kind of giving up showing up here for a while. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, okay. So you're not going to become a monk in some... Oh, fuck okay. no. Oh, no. He's no, going to no, keep no. drinking. He's yeah. going to keep drinking. He's Drink I'm not gonna talk. drink on air. That's all, duh. Yeah, it's basically nothing changes but one thing. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah. you're just gonna drink for fun? Yeah. Sounds like Why? Fun. Why do that? Why? That Somebody like told me it was a good idea, and I just want to try it this one time. This one time, drinking for fun? Yeah. Oh God, such a waste. Well, do it at band camp. That way you can say, "Hey, this one time." What at is band better? Camp? What is better than drinking a beer and uh, thinking, "Oh God, I got to figure out something to write about this." Just I drinking a beer. Just drinking a beer. That's just drinking. A I beer. agree. No, I agree. Uh, no, but we do. We do this as a service, you know. And your service is, I believe, invaluable. B. Uh, so you know, while you're gone on your hiatus, we will miss you. But again, there will always be a chair at the table at the beer snobs for you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yes. it. Anytime you want to come by, got something good to drink, especially bring it on over. Oh, like this one right here. Yeah. Well, that's that brings us to it. Usually, the segment we do with B is is growler reviews. Uh, we're not doing that this week. I don't He's see a growler. Something out of his collection for us. He, ge- he basically is giving us a goodbye gift. He's leaving. He's giving us a goodbye gift because he loves us. I, I feel loved. Eh, tolerate more. Yeah, than love. deal, <laughs> deal. You know. But but here it is, guys. So when we first started doing the beer snobs, there was a beer that was in particular that made me say, "Hey, we should do something like this. We should get together." And I remember I was driving out from Palm Springs. And I heard a show called uh, The Tasting Room with Tom Likas. And, Amazing oh. show. And what happened was he, he first talked about Firestone Walker Ale. And he had a really good show about it. Had the head brewmaster on there. They talked about the beer for about a good hour and a half. And I thought, you know something? I think me and my friends can do this. No problem. I've been working on radio for a little bit at that time. Trying to get my, my footing down. So the first beer that ever inspired me to start the beer snobs with half and everybody else was Double Barrel Ale. What I have for you today... Is the double double barrel oil? Double really? double barrel. Yeah, Dude. and this is the double barrel, and you double that. This is the Imperial Special Bitter, and it was uh, brewed in 2012. They released only three series of these. Uh, I got 2013 at home, a couple bottles of that, and I got wait for 2014 to release. But this is my last 2012, uh, and and for me to go on hiatus, I figured we might as well go out with one of my favorite beers, done extremely well. The Firestone Double Double Barrel Ale. Wow. Hey guys, drink it up. Thank you. Nice, dude. A uh, this, this, beer, this beer is so fancy. It's two years it, aged. It, 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 he aged it for two years. It came in its own box for one bottle. This is true. The, the presentation alone should be commented on. I, I have to say something before I even taste it because, it, I mean, that's, that's a hell of a presentation for a beer. 
Um, but hopefully they intended this to be aged. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. This. The, okay. Well, let's dive in. That's why they have to Whoa. unbox and there's no light damage ever can get to it. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. And actually, a lot of their beers age really, really well. I think because of the uh, oh, the, the barrel fermentation process. Yeah, I got I got the parabola. I got a whole bunch of the stuff. I mean, I have a pretty big beer hoard as is. And we're right now going through parties at my house to drink my beer hoard. So uh, the smell. Have this. Oh, this is amazing. The smell yeah. of this beer alone. I am so looking forward to the taste. I know you guys have already done it. I'm just I'm 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 taking my time because this looks and smells amazing. I mean, the look of this alone, the, the gold, you can see floaties on the bottom of a glass. Oh, dude. Yeah. I love when beer actually leaves solid parts from the process because th- that's flavor. That's what you're looking at solid Welcome pieces. Welcome to flavor, flavor country. Exactly. Dude, this sounds awesome. Check this out. Uh, Double DBA pays oh a special God. tribute to our beloved flashing DBA, I which cry. is how you started. Yes, sir. Uh, it's the brainchild of uh, production <gasps> manager Ali Razi and is the concentrated first runnings of the dba recipe you don't see concentrated first runnings ever really this is awesome man. this is so good and then this it's, is uh, so good oh my god this particular law was aged in a blend of new american oak and bourbon barrels for 10 months each barrel has left its unique mark on this beer i've read about this it's a double dba so you're thinking like okay it's a quad quadruple barrel ale yeah but from what i hear it's actually like hundreds of barrels of ale because they're all blended together all i know is it's numbered and that's awesome it's num- no this what, one isn't numbered no, the everything after that is numbered so this is but the this, original this is the original one as you see on the bottle oh. it says reserve series number zero zero one and they only did three of them they're going to this 2014 is their last year doing this oh that's so, a shame yeah, but, but they have a lot. Uh, they have other ones like they do have their. I don't. Uh, they have their parabola, which is their imperial stout, and they have a lot of other. Great. I got like five boxes. We're going to drink one of these nights and just have a good time. This five. is amazing. This is this is. I think you just fucked up the beer of the month. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're definitely going to need a, a hard palate cleanser before we do this. I want to nominate this as the beer of the month. I don't know if it's a qualify. <laughs> no, it, well, it doesn't qualify. It doesn't no, qualify. No. It's you can't you, you drink it because you, oh, oh, it and you so can't good. buy it too. So because and you can't buy. Well, how much nah, did this cost okay. you when you bought it? I think it was sixteen bucks when I bought it. But since it's two years aged and pretty fucking rare, I'm going to guess in the world of the, of the whales, the trading and everything, probably like a seventy dollar beer. Nice, worth every penny, man. This is amazing. Well, thank you, sir. No, you thank you for yeah, thank you for for bringing this out, man. God, wow. I'm just in awe. This is such a good beer. It's, again, it's uh, the Double DBA Reserve Series Barrel Aged Imperial Special Bitter. And it is like tasting happiness. Oh, like this, this, this is this, pure happiness. This beer is just nirvana for beer drinkers. Uh, I, I cannot tell you. I mean, you just, yeah. Do you know what? Just hate us. Hate us because we're drinking it. And you're listening to us drink it because this is amazing. Oh, oh God, so just sad. take a second to think about it. Okay, we got to save these for after we're done because uh, we got to move on to the next segment. Um, this is our blind taste test for the week. I like the look of it. Really nice head on this beer. Smells a little odd. It smells odd, but it tastes okay. Yeah, it, it, it tastes like an amber. Got it, taste. it tastes like a... I can't call it an amber. It's not, it's not quite there. It's got something else there. It's not bad well, it though. It's like almost tastes like an amber with some chocolate in it. it like, there's a net, like like charcoal. That's what I'm thinking. It's not bad though. It, it's it, good. It, no, yeah, I like it. it. It's not. It's not as incredibly smooth as like the uh, the amber ale from Wien Walker, but I mean, it's got it's got a good flavor to it's it. It's got a nice mouth feel too. Yeah. I really like the mouth feel. Yeah, super malty. Not over Very, the top, though. God, such a good head, too. I mean, lately, all the beers in the past month haven't been that great as you far know, as heads I, go. I like this because, you know, I, I hate the word. I hate the word, honestly, drinkability. But this is very drinkable. This is really drinkable. Yes. I, I, could, I could put this, put a whole bunch of these in my, be, in my beer fridge and just come home and just pop one and have a good time. I agree. It's a lawnmower beer. Great. Oh, it's a good color lawnmower beer, too. Nice and dark. Wow. It is, yeah. It's actually almost the same color. It's not as it's clear, but it's almost the same color as that double DBA. Almost. Oh man, no, I'm, I'm I'm liking this. I mean, we we did ourselves a good solid cleanse before we did this, just to make sure that the DBA wouldn't affect our our palates. Oh, totally. Um, oh, yeah. We had to. We had to. That was such strong flavor. Well, this one is definitely making its own mark. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not impressed, but I'm willing to recommend just this. Look at the way. Look at the way the head coats the glass. I mean, that's just impressive. Where? Well, yeah, you finished your, you just, whoop, <laughs> gone. Um, 
I'm, yeah, I'm loving this. I, I, I say let's get to the uh, recommendations, B. You know, uh, it's, it's not like a, a world changer, but it's not a bad beer, so I recommend this. All right, Hardiman? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not over the top, like, you know, awesome, but it, I would totally try it. And uh, I have to agree. I mean, it's, it, I don't think there's nothing bad about this. It's not mind-blowing, but it's really good. It's really tasty. Again, I, I'm, in, I'm really interested now to see what it is, but yeah, definitely giving it a recommendation. That's, I believe this is probably the beer of the month. This is, I think it's the only one this month that got a, a three out of three. It is. Oh, the Henninger didn't get three out of three? No. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. One out of three. Oh, no, right, I was the only one that liked it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, let's, let's get the reveal. Let's get the reveal going. Oh, it's an interesting bottle. Imported from Scotland, Bellhaven Scottish Ale. Oh, clear bottle. Okay, so that's, in a clear bottle. That's interesting. Isn't yeah. that strange? That is nuts. You you rarely see a a, a beer in a clear bottle that tastes this good. But yeah, like, and for being in a clear bottle, you you don't get any of those skunky yeah. flavors you expect. The Bellhaven Brewery is one of Scotland's oldest regional breweries dating back to 1719. Bellhaven Scottish Ale is a fully rounded ale, a complex mix of malt and hop, producing Bellhaven's easily recognized malted and nutty flavor. That's I definitely get the nutty say. flavor in there. Yeah. I do too. It's 5.2%. Oh, that's a nice round. And this is a this is a pint nine. Pint point nine. The, well, you know, this isn't bad. I liked it. I liked it enough. A pint point nine? Pint point nine. What is that like? Well, what was Almost that? Like, a, pint, like, a pint like and 18 point nine fluid ounces. Point nine so fluid it's ounces. like just under 17 ounces. I guess. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. It's, yeah. it's an interesting, it's an interesting size. It's bigger than a normal bottle, but not quite as big as it could get. I mean, I don't know. It's not a 99 pack for sure. No, hell no. And the price of <laughs> it, it's, this is a little on the pricey side, but it is a really good import. Uh, and it, it's three ninety nine a bottle. <laughs> That's I know not, that's not bad though. I mean, it's, yeah, it's it, may, it made me do the exact same thing. Be like, this is this is this screams to me a solid three dollar bottle. So four is a little bit on the pricey it, side, it's, but it's a it, it screams to me like a solid two dollar beer to you. It's a two dollar beer to me. Really? It, it's it's a, it's a beer that I want to get a six pack for like eight bucks. You know, yeah. I, I, but I, I mean, this is a bigger than but, normal but, bottle. But, but at four bucks for this those. is a bigger than normal that's bottle. true because yeah this isn't 12 it, ounces yeah I, I get that but i i i i still recommend it i still so recommend I you go drink 50 it 50 centiliters if you go oh, by metric. damn metric system i know Fucking oh. a solid 50 centiliters <laughs> god damn it. Oh, okay I, need to again, again, over. I would i would well i would say that uh, you know more than likely most of the price is from the fact that it's i mean a true import <laughs> It's not a bad beer. Brewed by Bellhaven Brewery in Dunbar, East uh, Lothian. Listen, if you can find it, go try it. It's not yes. a bad beer. No, this is good. I don't think yeah. it's, I don't make think sure, it's be your favorite. Make sure but. the place you, you buy it from does not have giant glass windows illuminating the beer like, you know, most, you know, BevMo's. Because uh, like, I got this from Total Wine. And uh, yeah, because because the clear bottle says if, if this is anywhere near light, it's not going to turn out that good. Yeah, so right? I mean, if you find this in the store, check out the layout of the store before you buy it. Um, well, not only that, does it have a born on dates? Like, why doesn't everybody do a born on date? And no I don't shit, know. Right? They should. Yeah, they really should. Just let us know how old a beer is, and then you can figure out if it's good. But or this not. was great. No, this yeah, was great. This, this is was good. really good. Yeah. So you can't really. I mean, you it, can't even say anything, even not, if it was an older born. I mean, it's such a good job that it's still held up. It's not like a snarky. Well, this is good too. This isn't like. Well, it was good for this. No, it was like a decent beer. It was. Well, a good it's beer. no Firestone deep double DPA. What no, is? I mean, well, that, that's the thing. Is like, I, I think if we had to drink the, the double DBA, we probably would be like, "Wow, this is so great." It's just, it's a little bit like, it's well, the beer of the month. It's great. <laughs> oh God, we just had this double DBA. Oh, it's like heaven. Yeah, but no, I mean, but out of out of everything we've had for this month, this is this solid. has to be the, easily, this, yeah, easily the beer of the month. This is this is a. Your last beer of the month vote for a while, so I mean, you know, I, yeah. I don't we remember could, the latest uh, Scottish we, so we, ale that we voted for. It's been a while. Yeah, wasn't the trooper one the one that was uh, what's the name? Run for the hills, Iron Maiden. Oh yeah, that oh, one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really care for that one. Oh, oh look at the rest of the bottle. I mean, the artwork's pretty nice. <laughs> it looks yeah, whatever. It actually looks like a wine bottle. Yeah, it yeah, does it look does. like a wine bottle. Well, you know, like, empty like this, it like a Cisco like a bottle, Yeah, but, but no, it's got like a, it's got like a picture but, of the estate. No, in a clear, in a clear night bottle. Train. Night train. In, in a night clear, train or Cisco? Which one is it? Oh, God. Uh, that's Cisco. That has to be Cisco. No, MD 2020. 
<laughs> MD, no. No, no, no. That, that's Boone's Farm because it has a state on the front of it. Oh, that looks kind of like Boone's Farm bottle. It's a Boone's Farm bar- bottle. That's what it is. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, this is this is the uh, imported from Scotland. This is the Bellhaven Scottish Ale. Three out of three recommendation. That's awesome. It's got to be the beer of the month. Yeah, it for, is. Yeah. For, for next yeah. month. For this year. For next month. It's got to be. Uh, but anyways, uh, I, I guess that's it, B. For for a while, this is the last one we'll be hearing from you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, okay. I, I, I told you I got to go find like myself said, with the nominous day and all that crap. Well, at least you got to enjoy that. And you got to enjoy the Wing Walker Amber, or our beer, our current beer of the month. That's good stuff. You know, well, so we had some good memories, and well, we had most of the other beers we had this month, <laughs> which have all been really disappointing oh up till my now. God, that was crazy. Which is why I'm so glad for this last show you brought in that Firestone man. Just it, oh, that's uh, awesome. Thank, thank you so you. much. If I'm leaving, I'm leaving on a good note. And you did. You that's did one and, hell of a good yeah, note. You, one hell of a good note. Not only that, but like I said, more likely our beer of the month right here. Yes, sir. as well. So a really good show for your last show. I'm really happy for not. At forever last show for a while you are coming back here man Come yes on. sir well i have to say as <laughs> as one of you the will remain executive producer and always founder of this show you that, always be a part of it no matter what but yeah we definitely need you to come back eventually as one of the uh the newest people to the beer snobs i guess as you'd put it uh, yeah uh, yeah kind of um i'd like to thank you for all the time that you've put in to build this to be what That's it is a very today. good point like, I, think, I mean yeah I yeah mean, you know. thanks man Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. You you built this opportunity <laughs> for us, so you're I, I appreciate welcome. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really. Uh, I, it's, it was a work of love. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to deny it. You know, just sitting down drinking beers with your friends. Can't get that bad. If you can find the old, old shows, you go ahead and see how shitty we were. Uh, <laughs> Don't. W- where are those? Are those in like, the, the, the library? They're Congress? lost online somewhere. No, there, there's actually, I found Because nothing you make that goes online ever really disappears. Is it got to be somewhere. Yeah, they're, they're, I found an archive of them. Is it like on beta tape somewhere? Something like that. <laughs> okay. You can, it's like the third page of look up the beer snobs. You can find them. They were oh, fucking geez. horrible. Uh, they they sounded no, horrible. No, they, see, they were funny. They just sounded horrible. Just go to Google, look up the beer snobs, and go to page 99. Oh, I'll see no. if I can find a link forward. You can see. But uh, just this journey was awesome. I just really need to take some time away right now to reflect, and I'll come back in a little bit, and I'll probably come back with some more beer. Awesome. Oh, I hope so, you have a lot awesome. of fun on that gay cruise. Make sure you bring a it's really good awesome oh, gay cruise. Oh, oh. Artie, man. <laughs> Serving up the meat, baby. Oh. <laughs> Bringing out that haggis That's because right. you're that good. <laughs> That's right, I am. That's right. All right. Well, thank you, B, uh, and thank you to uh, to Bellhaven for their Scottish Ale and our Wing Walker Amber, our uh, last show for Beer of the Month. Uh, thanks everybody for listening. You can check us out on thebeersnobs.com. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on G Plus. We're on Elo. We're on everywhere you can be online socially. We're there stalking you, watching you while you sleep. And uh, thanks for listening. And we will see you next week. Uh, I'll see you guys at the bar with my Firestone double the BBA. You just carry that with you? I will. Yeah, it'll all be, the time. I'll, it'll from be now on. my neck. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Key necklace. That's like a backpack full of them. That's right. I wish. <laughs> original year. I'm, I'm gonna put series. it. I'm gonna put it in my. <laughs> put it in my water bag. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, dude. Well, guys, uh, this is Brian, and the beer is half the fun. The beer is all the fun. The quest well, is, half the quest the is half the fun. The quest is half the fun. Have I already said I need another double DBA? Let me get that in. This is the beer snobs. I'll be the same.